Dead Island is a video game. Yep, that's it, that's the video. Dead Island is mostly known for its goofy gameplay. <laughs> having some fat old booty zombies, as well as having one of the most memorable trailers for just anything ever. But while we wait for the sequel to come out, let's go over the Dead Island iceberg itself, and as always, the iceberg template in the description. Dead Island was released on September 6, 2011 on Windows, Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 3, eventually making its way to the next generation between 2014 and 2016. Known as an action role-playing survival horror game, Dead Island lets you play as four infection-immune survivors, most notably the notorious Sam B and Soap McTavish himself. The game has an average rating about 7 or 8 out of 10, so a fairly decent game. Dead Island 2 was officially announced in 2014 alongside a scheduled release date of Spring 2015. Ever since then, major delays have happened. Three different studios were put in charge of the game over the course of 5 years. This led to many to believe that the game would either never come out or that it was cancelled. Then, in August 2022, the game was re-revealed with a February 2023 release date. And with one more pushback happening into April 2023, Dead Island 2 looks like it's finally gonna come out. And somehow, this zombie outbreak happening in-game makes Los Angeles look like it's a lot cleaner than it actually is. It's fine. I'm Californian. I'm allowed to say that. I'm also allowed to say wetback and border hopper due to being Mexican. <laughs> Escape Dead Island is actually a third person game that takes place 6 months after the events of the first game. It was released on November 2014 and the game lets you play as Cliff Callow, who sets on investigating the rumors of zombies on Benoit Island, the location of the first game. The game itself didn't seem to be well liked by critics, but I won't lie, it looks cool. Not like anyone listens to critics anyways. Dead Island Epidemic was a quote unquote multiplayer online battle arena kind of game. It featured three teams fighting against each other to survive and was released through Steam Early Access on May 19th, 2014. It was a free-to-play game and in 2015, during its open beta phase, it was cancelled. Dead Island Survivors was a fucking mobile game. It released on July 4th, 2018 for both Android and iOS and then shut down in July 2020. It was a third-person tower defense kind of game. Yeah, do you really want to play that? Dead Island Retro Revenge is a 16-bit game that takes place in, once again, zombie-infested California. Yeah, pretty accurate. Have you seen some of the fucking goblins that live here? The game lets you play as a character named Max, who is set on saving his cat, oh well, relatable, who has been kidnapped. It was released on August 1st, 2016, and it's believed that Max here was the same Max character from the trailer for Dead Island 2. This is actually one of the more main, mainly known things by now, but original developers Techland parted ways with Deep Silver after they wanted to work on a game that we now know as Dying Light. The family from the Dead Island trailer can actually be found in-game. The very first thing you do in-game, if you go the opposite way you're supposed to, you'll find the room that the family was in. Parents, obviously dead, and the little girl, well, a fucking bozo went to the windows, to the wall that's six feet on the ground, call her Lil John. The ESRB, basically the people who rate video games like M for Mature, or just like your mom, E for Everybody, actually had the Dead Island logo censored. The original logo showed a hanging body and they had it changed to just a normal standing zombie. However, the logo isn't changed in-game. Dead Island was banned in Germany due to the amount of violence, however, Amazon Germany sold it for a short amount of time. They actually had the balls to come out and say it's harmful to the youth. The trailer for Dead Island was actually controversial and criticized due to its portrayal of a dead child. However, thankfully the trailer was actually praised by many, and myself, so no one actually cares about the controversy here, but it happened. A pretty based fucking joke was found in the codes of Dead Island. The character known as Brrrna had an unlockable ability known as Gender Wars and holy shit Dead Island was ahead of its time. This gave her a damage boost against male enemies. So in the codes through the PC version, the original name for this ability was called Feminist Whore. 
pretty based, but obviously backlash happened after this came out and Deep Silver, the publisher, stated that it may have been a private joke by one of the developers and that they regretted this. You know damn well, they did not regret this. This thing, okay, I kid you not, they were selling you some titties. Collector's edition for the Dead Island Riptide expansion features a statue of a mutilated torso. Tur torso. torso. Some boobies. <laughs> Marketing director Paul Nichols said that they wanted to provide a quote unquote striking conversation piece. So they sold you tits. It apparently was only available in Europe and Australia, but obviously it got backlash. Deep Silver came out and apologized for this, but the good news is that it's shipped anyways, so someone out there has this. It isn't the worst thing, honestly. I've seen worse. Like, at least it isn't a fucking power right here. I'm not defending it either. I wouldn't have bought this, but like, I'm just saying, there's worse. Spoilers for a 10 year old game. The 2012 expansion known as Dead Island Riptide had a cliffhanger. The end of the expansion sees the characters leave a new island that they were on, and they leave on a boat. And the last thing you see is the boat arriving elsewhere, in which there's no sign of anyone on board. Then you hear a zombie sound and you see a handle turn. It's believed that the immune survivors eventually mutated into some sort of zombie-like thing after being exposed to high amounts of an unknown mutagen compound, as seen during the expansion. Marvel themselves issued a one comic thing on Dead Island, like it's just one comic book. It follows a man named Roger Howard, a journalist looking into the illegal activities on Banoi Island. The story here is that Roger goes to Royal Palms Resort from the game and finds files of the four playable characters and comes across some zombies. You can find multiple voice files of Roger in the game in which he documents his journey trying to escape the island but becomes infected. Dead Island's publisher Deep Silver funded a four part series of comedic short films called Dead Island Secret Origins alongside video game journalist website Games Radar. I've seen that some people don't know about this, so I'm, I, I guess I should put it here, but Ryder White is the main antagonist of Dead Island. He has a playable DLC that starts two weeks prior to the zombie outbreak that takes place in-game. In the DLC, you see that his wife is bitten by zombified patients while taking shelter in a prison, and essentially, he tries to find an antidote for her. Basically, you play through his side of the story. A playable version of Dead Island 2 was leaked in 2015. It's believed that the build for this game was what the game was during 2013 and 2014 and had already been scrapped by the time it was leaked. And from what I saw, people were saying it was bad. Character Sam B is actually the only character to show up in live action form. To promote the Dead Island Riptide expansion, a music video for the song called No Room in Hell was released and it features Chameleonaire. I just love the fact that Chameleonaire, of all people, is on this. No room in hell. In what is a classic case of lost media, Dead Island's original game build was seen before. Dead Island was originally announced at E3 2006, supposed to have been released in 2008. Then after hearing nothing and beliefs of it being cancelled, it came out in 2011 and was re-announced that same year. Dead Island series having trouble development? Unheard of. The re-announcement featured the game with a totally new everything. Like totally new story, graphics, and setting. The original name was Island of the Living Dead, according to some websites, and it's believed that the Living Dead part got them into some copyright trouble with Call of the Dead boss, George Romero, may he rest in peace. However, it's likely that he never actually copyrighted the phrase Living Dead. Screenshots, a trailer, and pre-alpha gameplay were apparently seen as well. It apparently featured one playable character as opposed to the four, no RPG elements and nothing was really known about the story other than the reason for the zombie outbreak was unknown and the player would have to find out. It was heavily criticized for being too similar to Sega's House of the Dead and oh my god, I remember being terrified of these arcade machines when I was like 6. Apparently Lionsgate announced that they got the rights to a Dead Island movie. It was announced on September 27, 2011 shortly after the game's release. Deep Silver along with Occupant Entertainment would have co-produced the film and it was supposed to start filming in 2015. Nothing ever came out of this. Except that I just lied to you, the film script was leaked on Reddit. <laughs> Lionsgate said that it was going to be an innovative movie with human emotion and family ties with non-linear storytelling, however the leak itself seemed more lighthearted and comedic, although it kept the non-linear storytelling. 
It would have been a separate story from the game, however, few returning characters and locations would have been a part of the film. So, the leak apparently was dated to September 8, 2017, while having just over 100 pages. Like I said, Dead Island? Trouble development? Nah, don't believe it. My favorite part about this actually is the description of what happens right after the opening and the title sequence itself. It would have showed time going in reverse and in slow motion just like the trailer for the game where it shows the outbreak happening in the hotel pool area. That would have been cool as fuck, however the post itself was deleted. Fucking shocker. There you have it, the Dead Island iceberg itself. I have not seen someone make this, so I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna buy Dead Island too, so let me just make it. Which is really funny because I had never heard of Dead Island or even played it until like August 2022 when the first game, or the second game I should say, was re released. However, I have seen the trailer. I have seen it. I just didn't know what it was for. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching this and bye.